Hey guys! Oh my god, there's an alien terror attack in Munich or whatever. Can't pronounce that city. Sorry if you're from there. But we'll send the Sky Ranger and we will bring our whole team over. Finally, they have the weapons. Uh, nothing else occurs to speaks out to me as, um, I don't think we're missing anything, so let's launch! I always love terror attacks. Touching down. They're terrible. Our target site is near the German border. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Okay. We can't what we just clipped through that smoke. Did you see that? It's um it's terrible. Job. Anyways, so we have a little bit of a terror mission here. So as you know, terror missions, you gotta rescue some civvies. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Oh, here we have uh, some floaters. Heavy floaters, nonetheless. All right. Well, we have uh, two shots we can potentially pit and make. Uh, take the one in the back. I kind of want to capture one of these guys, so let me get this guy to. I don't really want to move him up here. Actually, just occurred to me. Uh, so we're gonna move him over here, and we're gonna probably s lay down a smoke just so we. Uh, we're able to. Oh wow! Okay, so we have we, we we should probably just take out the first one there, because we can only get one. Just occurred to me. We have a really good chance to hit two, and we don't want to group up too much. Fifty-five. That's not good. I think I might do it anyways. I'm trying to think of my best uh my best chance here. Oh, he can try it. Hey, good stuff. Well, here's the plan. Smoke grenade this. And we're just gonna apparently observe this car and, and be all impressed with it. Hey, cool, you got it right on top of the car. I don't really know how. And we're gonna move him here, because he hasn't actually seen me yet. I'm hoping he'll just kind of come over here, because I kind of want to capture him, to be honest. And mutons have arrived, apparently. And they're moving very slowly into our range. <laughs> However, we got we get, a, we get a free shot off on them. And we blow up some cover, too, so that's kind of nice. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do we hear, like, it's like, no, no, no! And we get we get to use our new toys too. That's kind of nice. He's probably not gonna be too happy with us. Okay, come on, floater, come on. Oh, he fucked off. Holy shit, mutons! They're coming out of the walls. It's actually another one of the, the another elite pack or whatever. So this is the kind of situation you never want to really see yourself in. Alright. Start it up with, let's see who has a shot on who. Okay, this should be my first uh, shot we get. We got them. We can't actually get the other one, but we'll, we'll start off with this guy right here. Okay, we got 85 and 85. We'll get that one, too. The snipers are just ridiculous. That's why I have the scopes on, because, you know, even though you'd think that I wouldn't really need to use it, it somehow just kind of works out that way that I do. Holy shit, that one's so dead. What? Where'd they come from? 
fuck just happened? I didn't move anybody. Won't lie, kind of worried. But, you know, I got nothing else to do here but to finish this off right now. Okay, we got 65 on him. Mr. Shiv has an 85. Okay, now we don't actually see our friend here anywhere. We can just kind of dash up here or something. I don't even know. I mean, crystals just activated somewhere. I don't know where they are. I guess that's, that's where they are. Okay, I think they're too far away, I'm pretty sure, to, to actually attack me. And it looks like it actually glitched out because they weren't actually supposed to activate. Which is um, pretty much, I think, what you can say with a lot of what this game does. Kind of nice to get some more crystalid corpses. Yeah, I can't stun them, by the way, so don't even ask. Uh, and someone got poisoned, and it's probably going to turn into a chrysalid. Yeah, that's actually who we d don't actually want to be uh, activated at all. Chrysalids are, um, they're going to be around taking over people. Yeah, okay. Sniper will stay where the hell he is. Um, get Mr. Shift to move up. Here is a chrysalid. Apparently he's the only one with the shot. Okay, that may just that may have just opened the shot for my snipers. Nope. Well, it's up to him now. I kind of want to go save a person because uh, we're already down down three. So saving someone would actually be in our best interest right now. Probably gonna turn into. Oh, there we go. We have a zombie now. And another chrysalid. Who's apparently. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn! Ah. <laughs> uh, I love snipers. You know, it's just a surprise to me because it's just like. He's just doing a squad side thing. Alright, well. The zombie just came out. So, we'll go and move him over here. We save one hostage. Okay, so here we have this guy and this guy. We're going to take the 85 here. And he just ruined his own cover. Really nice fucking job. I... I didn't actually expect him to ruin his own cover, to be honest, but you know, expect them expected. Comes to XCOM. Alright, well, we're gonna suppress him now. Hopefully, that will ruin his aim because I can't move my guy anymore. Kinda wanna move in there to try and stun him, but this is a guy that we wanna kinda stun. Oh god. It's kind of just weird how this all works out from there. Oh, uh, hey floaters. Uh, what's, up, what's going on? <laughs> I just enjoy this a whole lot. <laughs> like, it's just the, the snipers, like, it, because whenever I overwatch them, it's just kind of like they get to take the shots. Well, uh, we can make a shot over there. Oh, is that right outside the range too? Probably is. Ah, uh, maybe not. I think I think he's right inside of it. To be honest. No, he's not within stun gun range. Not yet, at least. But, you know, we still get another opportunity to uh, open up on them, so. Uh, let's see. One of my snipers has a shot. It's a shot he will take today. Thank you. 
He's got his double tap, but uh, I don't think it's really going to be necessary. Alright. And we only have one shot with him. So, we're going to move up here and possibly get the other one. I mean, the other one is... Well, it's 58. We can suppress him too, actually. We have plenty of ammo for this. Yeah, we're going to move up here with him. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We get a hunter here. Because we, we are trying to, like, get another kill. Yeah. And so we're going to suppress the other one. And that card's going to blow up next turn, so he's going to have to move anyways. And we will get another suppress on the other one. And I'm also kind of inclined to go take a shot with him. Oh, I, I, I can actually shoot. Like, my full weapon. Might as well just open the door. Doesn't use a turn, so... <laughs> He's just gonna hit the door where the door used to be. Alright, well, that's not gonna happen. Uh, well, we'll overwatch with him, and then Volkov will just stay there. What? Oh, he killed it civilian. That's okay. I, I got worried because he's going into that cinematic view and that means he kills something. And that might be my own team. And he took a bit of damage there. Alright. Let's see. What kind of opening do we have with the stun gun? 24% chance. Alright. Well, here's the thing. We, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine health. Okay, so uh, we can talk what, about what is a possibility and what's not right now. And what's not a possibility right now is I'm gonna go and take a shot at this one. That's up to 10 damage. I don't like the sound of that. That means I'm probably gonna kill him. Kill the other one, though. Might as well kill him. Let's do that while we uh, decide what to do here. Alright. Uh, so, here's the problem. My weapons are currently too powerful to do anything. Any substantial amount of damage to them. Um, it is a problem, I assure you. Because uh, you know, I only get a 24% chance to hit. means I need to weaken him down a little bit. So, with, I'll do that with the plasma pistol. And then I will open up with uh, stun gun. 80%. That's a really good chance. And we got him. Good stuff. Good stuff, team. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. We rescued 12 out of 18, yeah. Even though I didn't really go up to any of them. What I actually wanted to do was the success. Because I haven't gotten one of those guys. So I have, I think, like a sectoid commander and then something else that I haven't captured yet. And the other stuff I can't because they're all robotic. Can't really interrogate them, though, can you? Also, you can't stun them either. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. Hell yes, it does. Okay, savior. Yes, indeed. Okay, we got Another that. Live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. And panic has Remember, decreased. We will be watching. Okay, um, so we go to the facilities. We still have a couple days for that to finish, so let's go do ourselves a interrogation, shall we? Uh, we're doing hyperwave right now, that's almost done. And flight research credit uh, earned. That's uh, that's nice. All right, but we're gonna finish this up first, and let's keep uh, the world spinning, go run around, and we finish that without actually it having to have done anything. Okay, so now we can make a hyperwave relay. Nice. 
Okay. Uh, that's uh, interesting, to say the least. I'm debating where to make it. That's the thing. Okay, uh, well, I'll show you how right now things are going. Uh, okay, so we can go make ghost armor! Ghost armor. Ghost in disguise. And we don't have enough weapon fragments for guided fusion launchers, so. Ghost armor it is. I don't know what I was working on last time. I'm like, I don't think I was working on anything. Yeah, I wasn't working on anything. Okay, we want ghost armor though. Fucking love ghost armor. And we got some firestorms done. Which means we can go and make some EMP stuff. So, uh, EMP cannons take a couple of alloys and Illyrium. Insufficient funds. Let's go sell some shit, shall we? We got lots of mutons. We got anything else interesting here? Oh, drone wrecks. Uh, these these cost like two bucks. Like, they, like nobody will pay for them. Honestly, I don't know. Makes me sad. We can probably sell some alien alloys, to be honest, if we really wanted to. Anyways, um, the reason why these EMP cannons are pretty important. All right. And hangar, ship list. We have a whole bunch of uh, these things ready. Which are really nice. And so we're gonna equip them all with EMP cannons. And see, things like this, I'm just gonna like put them back to. Whoops. Um, who's using the Phoenix cannon? He is. Because these ravens are like. I'm, there's no point in me having these. They just cost me money, these ravens. Because the, 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 what was it called? The new ships I have are more than capable of taking them down. Um, like, I can have, like, two of these in each continent if I want to really play it safe, but I, I, I play, live, I live dangerously, so I won't do that. Uh, okay, so it's just arming the weapons. I'm going to wait for the weapons to finish arming. Okay, this, this finished, which means we can potentially go and buy a side facility. Uh, and also this. However, I can't actually get either one right now. Because I don't have enough money, so we may just have to wait until next month. I'm even debating that, because I'm, I'm like, right, I'm so close to this. When's the council report? It's uh, a couple days. All right. Anyways, um, let's go and sell some. Wait, we have pending requests. Have you floater Rex? Oh, we're just one short. We can get more scientists. Maybe we'll get another mission. We'll, we'll see. And what I'm actually planning on... So maybe I shouldn't have gotten all those soldiers right away. Uh, now that I think about it, that was probably a dumb, dumb choice. But, you know, uh, as I said, I'm doing really well right now. So that doesn't actually really matter to me at the moment. Uh, oh, yes. I was going to go to the hangar and I was going to... Oh, they got three hours until they, they're done with that. Okay. <laughs> that's the, that that's large noise you heard. Okay, we're going to transfer this guy to South America. It's, they take a couple days to transfer over, so we want to do this before the end of the month, so we're not paying for these fucking things anymore. And the last one will go to South America, which we apparently didn't move them to before. So uh, in transit, in transit, and then every continent will have one in three days. Ghost armor is complete. Nice. Uh. What will I want to make next? Nothing at the moment, actually. There's really no reason for me to be doing anything else, because I want to save my, my weapon fragments for the moment, so. Contract transfer complete. Okay. And with that, we go and I'm going to de-equip uh, Phoenix Cannon. And with each of these, I'm going to just get rid of them. Screw you, Ravens. We don't need you anymore. Uh, yeah, this one already has the ammo. See, I don't actually know if I sell it, if it de-equips it automatically, because I don't want to lose them. Because I'm actually just planning on putting that on the second ship, because I usually want to EMP it down. But if that fails, then I'll, I'll, I'll be more than happy to just Phoenix Cannon it, because that's, that's a very reliable way to take ships down, to be honest. And there you go. And so if I actually look at my finances now, uh, craft maintenance is like... 35, so it's just the Sky Ranger and the Firestorm, so very cheap, 
on maintenance, especially since I have North America. Then I have a bunch of uh, buildings here, which also take a bit of maintenance work. Um, how much would it cost me, though, to... I want to start building the facility. Thermal generator is uh, $200. Um, I would maybe be inclined to actually maybe sell a UFO power source or something. I don't know what can make me do it. Maybe just a bunch of alien alloys. I have so much of this fucking shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Works out for me. I can even get started on that uh, other thing too. I've, I didn't realize how much of this shit I had. Uh, so thermal generator. Um, yep. I'm good with that. And then the plan is here to have like a workshop thing. Although I'm looking at the power facility, and I may not need. I may need to just have another power, two power facilities here or something. I don't even know at this point. Maybe I can't quite fit all the workshops here. Like, maybe this will be my other workshop thing. Who knows? Uh, how much does the Psy Labs cost? Um, 200. Well, you know what they say. I can make it. So, well, actually, nobody says that. I have so much alien alloy. Okay. It's as much as I'm willing to sell. There we go. All right. And engineering... Let's go build us uh, the Cyanic Labs. Thank you. And I'll make the other stuff later. Contact detected. Well, we have a contact in Canada. Hell yeah. It's in the Yukon somewhere. Nobody goes up there, so I guess nobody's going to be there, so. Whatever. Let's go wrestle some bears and. Uh, we have, like, we have XXX Snipes for 20 and fucking. Uh, well, not well, Mike Lad isn't here, so. Well, well, at least we have XXX Dice 420, so it's all good. But we'll do that next for next time, so. Until then, we will be watching.